Here at the Dart Show, we like nothing. At Ali Pally, we're here for the darts. One more, because you're one. Yeah, we've got a big, big crowd here today. But you're not as loud as the afternoon session, are you? All right, we've got Tinky Winky giving a large over there. When I say Tinky Winky, I'm talking about Teletubby. There we go, lads, there we go. So it's not quite Christmas just yet. Thank you, great singing. Line. You can bag yourself a £20 Just Eat voucher. Ooh, ooh. And the way we do that is buy a game, which is play your cards. Peter Wright, I've got my snake bike shoes on there. I've got my glamorous assistant, Dan Dawson. Dan, we're on to night three. What do you love so much about the darts? Well, look. Let's talk about this afternoon first. I don't know if any of you guys are here for the afternoon session. We've already seen our first big shock of the tournament. Christoph Ratajski, the world number 12, beaten by Steve Lennon this afternoon. However, not everybody was entirely happy with how things went this afternoon. Boris Koltsov, this Russian guy who evidently thought the fans weren't loud enough. He wanted more from them. Ah, there okay, we're warming up to it. Can you give I can him more? Can you, you give him more? Yeah. A bit more of that over the course of the night, and these guys will perform for you. Like Boris, if you've never seen a Russian man move like this, uh, it doesn't surprise me. Because wait for this. Oh, yes. Russian, yes, Boris. Russian turned Latina, right? That is ve Russian very impressive. Brazilian, I'm going to say. Look, that's this afternoon. This evening, we have some big names on the way. None bigger than the man whose shoes you're wearing. Snake Bite Wright. Of course, we have Peter Wright, who is last on the big stage in the main arena. Peter Wright fans? We got Peter some, Wright fans? We've got some Peter Wrights in the building here. Nice okay. Mohicans there. Who else right. have we got on? Peter Wright fans. We've got plenty of them. Are there any Paul Lim fans in? Yeah, the lobsters love Paul Lim. The lobsters love Paul Lim. Who doesn't love Paul Lim? I've got to say. Well, quite right. Paul Lim is a legend of this game. 67 years old, the oldest man in the William Hill World Darts Championship. Played his first World Championship in 1982. The first man ever to hit a nine darter at a World Championship back in 1990. And a few years ago, very nearly hit another one. A man in his 60s taking on Gary Anderson. He is adored by people all over the world in this sport. By a few of the lobsters there as the well. Lobsters. So we, of course, respect Paul Lim, don't we? Of course. So to to honour that, what have we done? We have blindfolded him and humiliated him in this. Here at the Dar Show, we like nothing better than giving the stars of this sport silly challenges that are insults to their talent and their status. They don't get any more high status than this man, the evergreen Paul uh, Lim. Uh, thank Paul, you. How are you? <laughs> I'm very well. Are you ready to be insulted with that ridiculous challenge? I am actually not really looking forward to it, but uh, I tell you what, I'll accept the challenge. Excellent. Uh, okay. look, look, in terms of trick shots, okay. what can you do? Well, well I used to do trick shot with cigarettes, you know, holding the mouth and I'll break the cigarette. Yeah, we're never doing that one, don't worry about that. Uh, but we are going to make this man throw nine darts to try and get the highest score possible. But you cannot see a thing. Cannot see the board? Cannot see anything at all. So where I know where do I know where I'm gonna aim at? We're gonna find out. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this one. Challenge accepted. Paul Lim, can you see anything at all? No, nothing. <laughs> this is insulting to the legend. But we are away. That's out the board near the 30. Ooh, single 18. And the 12. Okay, 30 points scored. That's not a bad start. Oh, out the board near the nine. That's going further out the board, and I'm Whoa. slightly worried for the camera. And that's in the 14. Not a bad grouping, uh, but yeah, outside the 14, I should say. So outside the 14, outside the, yeah. out of the board? None scored. Oh, None scored. These are your final things. Make them count, Paul. Make them count. Okay. Oh, where's that? that? That's somewhere near Frankfurt. That's way off the board to the right-hand side. To the right-hand <laughs> side. Oh, my God. Terrible. Oh, that's going further, right? <laughs> further right? Yeah, you started this really well. Yeah, because once I start moving, I kind of... Uh, okay. One dot. Last dot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... Oh, no, see, I, I chill. <laughs> 
Well, look, an 18 and a 12. That was 30 good. points scored. Oh, my God. I don't think that's going to hold. It is our top score so far, Paul Lim, the legendary oh, Paul Lim. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you can even score points oh, when you see the board. Wow, that was tough. But anyway, <laughs> I'm glad it's over. <laughs> yeah. We we'll never ask you to do that again. No, it's okay. Oh, that's an experience. No. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> In a career of ever-increasing lows, that is a personal one for me, humiliating the great Paul Lim. However, we may plumb new depths because I've been joined on stage by this man dressed as a lobster. What is your name, my man? Connor. Connor, where are you from? From Nottingham. Nottingham! The greatest city in the world, I think you'll find. Controversial statement, but true nonetheless. Now, Connor, first time at Ali Pali? First time at Ali Pali, yes. Why are you dressed like that? Um, with the uni fellas, we're here for a big night. Right, big night, he says. It could get a lot bigger. Do you want to play the greatest game of all? Play your cards, Peter Wright. Absolutely, I've dreamt of this day. He's dreamt of this day, of course he has, because you know the prize is this. This little orange ticket to paradise, a £20 Just Eat voucher. Do you want to touch it with your little lobster claws? You can't. You can't do it. You can't do it unless you win the game. You win the game bit like there's another game it sounds a bit like play your cards right but it's not it's play your cards peter right we have got 40 cards here the top 40 in the world rankings at the start of the william hill world darts championship i will give you an opening card it will correspond to a player in the rankings that is their number you have to then guess if the next card is higher in the world rankings towards world number one gerwin price or lower in the rankings towards who? Towards Rod Harrington. Towards Rod Harrington, that's right. Now, there is, there is quite literally a joker in the packet. It is the Rod Harrington joker card. Now, the Rod Harrington joker card looks like this. And what happens? What do you get for a Rod Harrington joker card? Nothing. Cause nothing! Because Rod Harrington wins nothing at the world. There we go! He even knows the words! This is spectacular. This is play your cards, Peter Wright. even got its own little jingle. We've also found the only man on a planet of seven billion who knows how this game works and knows the catchphrases. What a find this is. Connor, know who that is? Joe Cullen. It is Joe Cullen. Do you know where he is in the world rankings? You don't know. Well, let's going to show you for all the people here who are watching. Joe Cullen is ranked number 17 in the world. Let's have a little look. No, he's... 13, oh my word, sorry Joe, sorry Joe, the rock star Joe Cullen. Now, that's an awkward card to start with. If you want the 20 quid Just Eat voucher, you've got to get five correct. I want five correct. You can start with Joe, or I can change that card for you for free. You can only do it once, and he's doing it. He's changing Joe Cullen. Goodbye, Joe Cullen. Jose de Souza, the former Grand Slam champion, the world number seven. That's an improvement. Now then. The first question is, Connor, do you go higher in the world rankings than Jose de Sousa, the world number seven, towards Gerwin Price, the world number one, or lower in the rankings towards you, me, and Rod Harrington? We're going lower, lower in the rankings. Is that right? We are saying lower in the rankings than Jose de Sousa. It is lower in the rankings. It's the bullet, Stephen Bunting, the world number 16. This is an awkward one. Now, does he go higher to world number one, Gerwin Price, or lower? Lower. We've got lower over there. Lower. What are we doing? Higher. Higher towards world number one going price. So he's going higher in the rankings than the world number 16, Stephen Bunting. This is a bold move. Let's see if it pays off. Oh, it's Lucky D, Darius Labanowskis. Darius Labanowskis who's way down there at 33. Do you know what that, that's lower. And do you know what that means, Connor? It's bad luck, isn't it? It's bad luck. It's very bad luck. Do you want this? I wanted it, but it's game over. No, you can't have it. Get off my stage. Here's the pundits' predictions for tonight's action. So day three, the evening session, it's been brilliant so far, hasn't it? The star of the show, Steve Lennon, knocking out Christoph Ratowski. Will we get any shocks tonight? I'm not too sure. Joe Mernon against Paul Lim. Yesterday, we have the youngest player in Fabian Schmutzler at just 16. Tonight in Lim, we've got the grand old man of dark, 67 years of age. I think it's a step too far. I think Mernon will take it, possibly three sets to one. Now, William Borland against Bradley Brooks. I'm commentating on that with John Park. Really looking forward to it. Two of the very best in the business. Bradley Brooks, 
Of course, former World Youth Champion did brilliantly at the Grand Slam. And I think he will go through. The third game is Smith against Smith, with Smith as well. Let me explain. Ross Smith, Jeff Smith, and Adam Smith, would you believe, is commentating on it for Sky tonight. Ross Smith will be too good. Jeff Smith, I don't know, he's had a disappointing year while Ross Smith is in the form of his life. And then, of course, to round it all off, Peter Wright against Ryan Meikle. Meikle, at this stage of the tournament, for the very first time, I just think Peter Wright has got a great chance of going all the way this year. Wright to win, 3-0. Yeah, 3-0. Well, there we saw it. We had Pike's predictions, but we want to know the people's predictions for the evening session tonight. We have a little game here, don't we? We have people versus the pundits. The last two nights, we've had the, the people voting in on Instagram, and we've also got the pundits' predictions as well. As you can see, the four games on the stage, on the big screen there. How are they going to play out? The first game, first we can see Joe Mernon there against the very loved Paul Lim. Remind me, who are the Paul Lim fans? in the room Paul Lim fans there we go the Paul Lim fans are there do you think Paul Lim gets beaten 3-1 Stuart Pike says he does the fans on Instagram says he does do you no I don't they just, they're just, they just, they're just want just to think Paul Lim okay. I think that they may have a problem Joe Mernon hasn't been to the William World Championship for five years but he has been playing some good stuff this year particularly at the start of the year, maybe less so at the back end. Do not underestimate Paul Lim, 67 years old he may be, but he's still got a bit of the old magic. He does. He feels like my dad. We've got that respect <laughs> for him, you know, that fatherly love for them. Anyway, from old to young for the second game. The young lads there, we've got one making his debut right here on that stage. How do you see that one panning out? Because as you can see, it's a mixed bag. There. Yeah, I mean, they've both gone for Bradley Brooks, who's a UK Development Tour champion this year. He was a World Youth Champion last year. Willie Borland is making his debut uh, at this particular tournament, but he is very good, and he's taken some big scalps. He's beaten Michael Van Gerwen this year. He's made the last 16 of the European Championship. That could be a really good game, but if you want to look at recent stuff, the Grand Slam of Darts, Gerwin Price won it for a third time. Nobody got closer to beating him than that man, Bradley Brooks. I think that might be, in terms of a good watch, the game of the night. Okay, they're still singing Paul Lim. They still want Paul Lim. Paul Lim to make it to the final, yeah? To the final? Yeah, I thought so. Okay, the next one, the third, we've got Ross Smith against Jeff Smith. Two Smiths in the, in the bag here. How many Smiths play darts? Okay, I feel like if you've got a name called Smith, you're halfway there. Yeah, there, there's loads. There's loads. We've got uh, father and son in uh, Ray not Smith them, and not them. No, not them. Not them. We've got Canada's number one, Jeff Smith and Ross Smith. Now, Jeff Smith is a former world finest from the lakeside, but Ross Smith is playing some magnificent darts. Won his first title on the tour this year. He looks like he's got the ingredients to really push on, get you know, further and further up the rankings. I think he could be a real danger if he gets through a very tough first round tie against Jeff Smith. OK, and we're on to the final game of the night. Of course, Peter Wright. We have a few Peter Wright fans in the mix against Ryan Meek, who of course won yesterday. How interesting with that one pan out? Well, they're not giving Ryan Meikle even a set. Now, I know Peter Wright won this a couple of years ago, but people forget that the two years prior to that, he had very, very early exits in this tournament. If you're going to get Peter Wright, you've got to get him early. And Ryan Meikle, just a few weeks ago in Minehead and Butlins, played one of the games of his life on TV to beat Dirk van Dijvenbode. I think that's going to be closer than 3-0. I still think Peter Wright is probably going to win it, but I think we could have... A little bit of tension, a little bit of drama in the last one. OK, we've got your predictions there. I hope everyone's got their notepads out. You can go over there and, you know, have your little say. But they're the four games on for tonight. Not quite Christmas yet, everyone, because it's come slightly early. I've got a few gifts to give out, I think. Who wants a very exciting T-shirt? Because Gabby's Who just going to talk about that. Yeah. This Enjoy is no the T-shirt competition, let me tell you, all right? Hands up, here we go. I've got quite a good throw on me. Here we go. Oosh. There, there we go. Make some noise. Yeah, you over there. Right, we've got two left. It's not quite over. We'll let Gabby flout health and safety laws. We'll be back tomorrow at 6.30 for all Dar Show Live. Enjoy the night tonight. Pool number two, Peter Wright, the main draw of the evening. But Paul him on the way as well. Don't miss it.